have to go give uh, Gus a dippy egg. There he is. He's just chilling up here. Ooh. Hey, Gus. You got something for me back there? Yep, fresh out the Well, I had it like three days ago, so not quite that fresh, but, you know, fresh enough. Ah, salty, savoury, creamy. Delicious. Tastes like I'm about to do something useful. You make a mean egg dippy, big boy. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't lay it, only cooked it. We used to get egg dippy maybe once a year, if that. My poor ma. I don't blame her. She did the best she could. We were twelve brothers and she had to carry us all on her back. Literally. And we were all little dumbasses too, driving her up the wall. Aw oh, man. I don't think my mum could have handled more than just one hank. Ha. I remember one time my two older brothers and I got in the middle of the got up in the middle of the night to steal the pudding. And we accidentally dropped the whole bowl from the third floor. I swear her mouth was spouting fire. I thought I was for sure dying that night. I wasn't allowed out the hole for three days straight. Uh, yeah, that wasn't even the longest I got put in the hole. Did she ever put you someplace nice when you did something good? Like a, a shelf up high somewhere? What? No, that's dumb. Besides, I don't remember doing something good, like, ever. It was like we were 12 devils put on this earth to torment her, and boy were we good at it. I don't know. I remember doing a lot of dumb things, but I don't think we ever had a hole. Yeah, well, how did you get punished? Forced to eat dish soap? The old stick over the paw? I hated that one. She usually sat down with me and told me what I did wrong. Usually felt bad enough to apologise and never do it again. Oh. I see. That's dumb. Hey, you know what? When you're done scavenging, I think I could use some help with the humans. Oh? Yeah, see? I'm not a big people bear. I was thinking I needed someone with some heart. Some zing. Hmm. And, don't get me wrong, you have lots of stinky energy. Damn right. But maybe that's exactly what I need from someone running my concierge stand. Oh. <laughs> We've got our first person staff. Let's go. Do you... Do you mean that... Of course, I could use someone scaring some moustache moustaches off of a few folks for a fair price. Well, that's one of the least dumb things you've said today, Hank. Listen, if I come and help you, I'll need my own little table with my own little chair. Always the undeniable people possum, Gus had offered his services as a concierge. All he asked for was a little stand through which he could take care of business, of course. A perfect position for such a charming individual deal okay that's great so great i'm excited this is awesome you're awesome <laughs> he doesn't like compliments okay so we've got some more stock update we've unlocked the concierge stand all right oh gus yeah uh you've learned the boob blueprint so I can craft it. Place Gus's stand anywhere in the resort to unlock his services. You can turn on Gus's services through the cabin management screen. Gus will automatically accept new guests to stay in bedrooms you indicate, saving you the need to do it manually. However, Gus won't be as good as you at matching bedrooms to guest needs, so choose which rooms you ask him to manage carefully. Every bedroom Gus manages will cost a fixed number of coins per day. If you run out of coins, this service will stop automatically and you will need to turn it back on yourself. Okay, fair. So, we now have a concierge, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. Uh, probably in the high... I mean, maybe the motel, I'm not sure. I'm not sure... I mean, probably the High Lake one. The rooms are trash at the minute, but what can you do? What can you do? People will hate it, but we'll get our rating back up and at least we'll be earning some money. But what we do need is rubbish. Hello, I'm stuck. We do need rubbish. So we can get some more of Took stuff. So I don't have any comfort item, uh, decoration items for, like, blueprints. For, like, blueprints, yes, English. Hey, mate. 
Oh, I thought you said you had some new stuff for me. Guess not. Guess not. Everyone's checking in, they love it. They love it. Okay, so yeah, we've still got no decorative items, which is a bit strange. We'll live. We'll live for sure. Okay. Lovely. Oh, okay. It does give a bit of decoration, which is nice. Um, let's put him here. There you go, mate. You got two lots of five pound each cheesy chips yesterday for 20p. Wait. You got two lots of five pound each cheesy chips yesterday for 20p each. So they were five pounds, but you got it for 20p? Is that what you mean? Where is my... Oh. I'm silly Billy, it's this way. I can't get past it. <laughs> uh... Station has not become un unavailable, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Staff, details, aha! Edit. Turn on. Uh, you can sort out this one. 250 a day, what the hell? Man's expensive. What other bedrooms are good? This one's pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Now nah, we'll do... What's banging? <laughs> Why, uh... Why would you do that to me? We'll do these two. Save changes. Uh, pay under three. Yeah. Enable. Okay. So he's doing that now, which is lovely. But we've got no guest reviews, so. Yikers, me bikers. Let's grab some resources. And now we just have to do our best, I guess. Just grab some more resources for now and then see if we can add some more stuff. Um, so, whoa. People pleaser. Uh, we've got request days and all sorts. Right. A uh, host plus two guest with the pampered trait in timber crossing. Okay. Okay. It's weird how we haven't unlocked any more of the campsite stuff, but... Yeah, I'm sure we'll get there. Iron nails and cot cotton sheets. Where'd you get those? To timber crossing and see if we can book in two people with the pampered trait. They won't like it, but... <laughs> this is what we have to do. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Pampered trait. You and you. See, we've only. We don't have, like. You know? People are not scared anymore if they cross you. Oh, um, I think it was because I didn't have any pants on. <laughs> now that I've got trousers, they seem to be okay. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what that was about. But yeah, if I take my trousers off, they get scared of me again. So, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh, can I take my trousers off? I'll show you. Take my trousers off, look. They don't like it, because I got my tr I took my trousers off. I took my trousers off. But if I put my trousers back on... Oh god, I've lost my trousers. Boom. They like me. They think I'm a, a human, I think. So yeah, lovely. Right. So we've done that, and then we'll get six people to stay. So we need a uh, 
better bathrooms. We need better bathrooms. We need a brand spanking new porcelain bathtub. Oh, we can make two. I don't know why we've got two bathrooms in here, but we do. Right, yes, you can't have a shower and a bath for some reason. There you go, mates. Build one level three bathroom. Host two hygienic, oh. I guess it's only level two. Yeah, it's only level two. Okay, well. As soon as, whoops, as soon as that reaches like everywhere, we should be good. I might have to sort the high lake one out. Because if level three doesn't make it bigger, like the radius bigger, we're going to have some issues. I guess we could get Gus in here as well, to be honest. Luxurious, let's go. 23 uh, 25 and 12 you'll love it here 27 she's having me on cool right there's not really much we can do um Gus bro do your work. What is this? Definitely not the way to go. Metal bear. I mean, we've got all the stuff, so... Lovely. Yeah, we completed a quest. Let's go. Let's see what our rating is, actually. 4.6 4. is fine. Like, 4... That's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. Oh my goodness, hello, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, silly sausages. Let's get more people in. Guest requests. Higher than average food rating. We can do that. We can absolutely do that for you. Right. Hey, and we did this one again. This one again, this one as well. What's this? Oh, valuables. Oh, trash. Studies suggest that delayed gratification can be a serious condition, with potentially life-changing implications. Protect yourself and your family today with our two-for-one special. Press agreement. Shut up, shark. I think I met your, um, standards. Congratulations for once again achieving the most coveted standard for all. The bare minimum. <laughs> This location has multiple opportunities for further advancement, but our data suggests that your tendency towards a quick and superficial fix is the perfect opening to search for a new expansion location. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the pawn network, find your local pawn shark and just press the green button. Hey Barbara, what a beautiful view. Come over when you get the chance, darling. I, how? How did I hear that? How did I hear that? Do you know what I mean? What can we do to make this better, sir? 10 plus meals. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Easy. Barbara, mate. What are you doing over here? Shh, gentle. Listen. No bear noises. There's always wisdom in the whisper of the water. Even if this one is practically loud whisper. Particularly, sorry. Isn't it funny how the more you listen, the quieter it gets? And too much quiet can be quite dangerous. Especially for someone who's had a few bells rung in their life. What? I can't hear you! <laughs> loud bear noises! You're always in the right spirit. 
I couldn't help but notice that the captain's garden is open for business again. He always grew the sweetest corn. It sure seems like your paws are soft little hunks of magic. I can't remember the last time I saw the whole valley so active. The people look happy. You're doing such a great job. No, you're doing such a great job. Can't take a compliment, bear noises. Say, I think all this hiking has me a little famished. Seeing as you've fast-tracked your gourmet in inclinations, I was wondering if you'd be willing to get an old girl a little snack. A little taste of home, I guess. Mushroom spoop? I can I can give you a, mush a mushroom spoop. Let me see. What do we need for this again? Oh, cotton sheet and iron nails. Okay, well. Can't get that just yet. I think I might have to collect some more mushrooms, but I... But I might have some... Oh, look, he loves it. He, look at him munching that bread. Mushroom spoop. Sorry, guys. No mushroom spoop for you. Only mashed potatoes. Why is that the way that that is? Oh, because you can't add to it, I'm assuming. Cool. Can't take a uh, compliment, bear noises. Me too, bear. Me too. <laughs> Bless yous. Bless yous. I'm gonna give this lady some freaking mushroom spoop. Have you got anything for me? I sure do. Bear noises. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Oh, that smell. Like pine bark and mildew. Hey, it's Sabine. Ah, that sure hits the spot. Warms the darkest crevices of your soul, this will. I'm convinced now that if I see any hungry faces, I can send them your way. Well, that little pick-me-up gave all the energy I need. It's time I got going again. I hope I'll see you again, you lovely creature. Bear noises. See ya, lady. Thanks for coming. Uh, I mean, I walked to you, but it's my friend, the goat. Oh, she's coming to speak to me now. Okay, hello. Yep. Walk in uh, very slowly there. She does not want to stand next to me. Oh, hi! Sorry I startle easily. No, I get it. I scare myself all the time. You're still here? I mean, of course you're still here. I thought you'd be busy with all the people and the houses and everything. Well, I'm not saying you're not. I'm sure those take a lot of work. And skill. And brain. And good looks. Yeah, those two. <laughs> Ever since you came along I've been thinking. I've been stuck in a rut over here. Doing the same thing, getting lost in my routine. Do you want to be my cook? I don't even mind the sound of big black rocks make it night anymore. I think I want to try something new. Ooh, I could take you to meet my buds. Or, or, I can introduce you to the rat mob. They're mean, but they have a funny accent, so it's okay. What? Leave? As in, not here? Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking more in the realm of trying out some new recipes to cook. Oh yeah, that's fun too, I guess. Yes, exactly. Why do I need to go somewhere if I can just get a little taste of it at home? Kind of like travelling in your mouth. <laughs> yeah? I love my garden, but it doesn't grow a lot of stuff. Do you think you could try and find me some more unfamiliar ingredients? Something that doesn't grow here. Something fresh and zesty. What? Fresh and zesty. Talk to Sabine. 